It's 20th of July. It's Monday. Hey. My Hi. name's Sean Plot. Hi. I'm, Look at me. I'm Lee Grainer. Hello. Great. Hey. I'm Sean Bloom. We're going to mostly walk in. We're going to keep playing Disco Elysium today. And I described my energy level as fine. I did yeah. nothing but errandy stuff today, including discovering that I haven't had health insurance for almost a year. Oh, <laughs> shit! Yeah. Yep. That's called the... Is there a name for that when you uh, learn that? It, it's called Surprising. And also America. Like, yeah, yeah. so I... Um, Apparently, I had a, an expired card. I updated my credit card, oh. and I thought that this yeah. was one of the services that was on my bank account, oh. but it was actually one of the services that was on my cards, and uh, I have insurance now, but that was that was a big chunk of the day, and yeah. uh, you know, I like to call people on the phone, and I'm like really enthusiastic, and I would describe the woman that helped me set everything up as not necessarily enthusiastic so that was mm. I, I or or <laughs> perhaps more accurately i think that she hated me so Amazing. she let me know that by calling me sir at times she didn't need to yeah that's Brain. what i'm trying to do sir one of those kinds sir. of things yeah so so i am, I, uh, I'm, I have yeah. even dude energy today uh, what right, about right. you to how how how's been the week sees any any fun story times before we disco our way <sighs> Well, I will say this. I, I once found out, you know, that I was I had gone a week without health insurance. That was that was also the American surprise for me. But I um, since then, I am now like if I if I don't have. OK, usually when I have insurance, I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm going in for everything because, you know, <laughs> while you got it just roll high and then yeah. um oh yeah no also yeah, the, during that you treat it uh -huh. like you're a vip in a uh -huh. casino man we all just are just like Fuck, yeah. I, I mean i have to have this and i never go to the doctor but you're just like you know what i feel good oh, yeah. go see the doctor make sure i should feel yeah good. exactly <laughs> i'm like well sean told a story about getting his ears syringed email my doctor I, i'm gonna look give me the works um yeah so, uh, but since then, if I'm not doing something with my doctor that requires them to like swipe that card, I will call about every two weeks and ask if I still have insurance. <laughs> really, every two? Uh, like, so you've yeah. been doing I this mean, every two I, weeks? Like, I they, it makes sense, Lee. It seems like a yeah. responsible thing to do. It's insane. That is, it is insane. insane. It's bonkers that we live in. We live in, uh, okay, well, like, uh, you go online, and there's all the Americans in the comments who are like, like, universal health coverage could never work. And the only response is, look at a country. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, if you, if you pick a country, <laughs> chances are... Yeah, that's that's the way it works. It's yeah, no, it, it is kind of weird because you know maybe maybe I'm uh, wrong, and I part of me just feels like you should be able to go to the doctor and you should just be able to go to the doctor. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong in that regard. But you know, with health insurance, I, today I kind of felt like I had to call someone up and say, "Am I allowed to use my hands?" You know, because because I mean, I, I there's things like I I went on a walk. Yeah. yesterday and i didn't have insurance had i known that i wouldn't have gone on that walk because if i like sprained right. my oh, ankle yeah. because i need to tie my shoes tighter in the future right. i would just be a person with a bum ankle for the rest of my life because i can't afford uh -huh. to have this 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 luxury bone in well my, that, you know the foot I, as far <laughs> you know the luxury bones are your teeth oh yeah, that's no, a whole yeah. other department that's yeah, uh, that, yeah. oh that's, that's a great true. point yes no the 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 teeth are their own special kind of bone. They're not covered. They, my insurance specifically stated that it covers up to 205 bones in the body, uh, but the 206th <laughs> bone, which is the tooth well, system. <laughs> you know why? It's because the teeth are so much higher um, liability because they're the only bones on the outside. That's why. Ah. That is true. Did you know also that that uh, 205 bones thing is a myth? What? What? How, how many bones? How many bones do you think there are in a human body? Two hundred six. Two hundred six. That's what answer I learned. Is, answer is a variable. What Every different number of bones? Tiny is little that bones. DNA evidence, people. Is it, it two hundred six plus people? or minus five bones? Like what are we? Yeah, talking? I think it's. I think it's. It's something like that. I think it's like two hundred six plus or minus five. There's a margin of error on the number of bones uh, that you have in your body. 
what well, is I that margin? Get your, yeah, I d- that I don't know. I, because I, here's the thing. Like, I, I know math, okay? That's a thing yeah. I like. And sometimes yeah. when you have when you have variants, you actually get, like, a pretty big dome, right? So there might be people, according <laughs> to what you're saying, that have something like maybe four to 500 bones in there. But there could yeah. also be a person yeah. with tens of bones. <laughs> like, they actually... They don't yeah. have a rib cage. No they bones. actually have one continuous <laughs> coil that wraps around all the organs. That's actually a really good design. Oh, that's it's so smart. Too. It could right? Yeah. Yeah, and then you can And then Marilyn high. Manson wouldn't It'll have had to get one removed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, that would really suck to break your one rib, though. Like that oof. would suck, yeah, yeah, because then you're That's just spring right. like this, and everyone's had you one of those springs over. that you can't like do this with anymore because you push and it just bows itself out of your finger hold. <laughs> oh. Well, what would happen, I think, is yeah, you'd either you'd sh- if you if it broke the skin, and I mean, like you know, uh, uh not safe for life <laughs> warning on this one, if it broke the oh, skin, God. it could just uncoil all in one <laughs> thing and it could poke the eye out of someone standing like six feet away from you. Oh yeah. man, oh, you, there would terrible. absolutely be a YouTube market for just like rib removal, where you just you yeah. just pull. I uh, now I, I want to talk more about gross YouTube videos, but firstly, I just want to note yeah. you 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 may wish to disable the white balance on your camera because with the blue behind, mm-hmm. it's going. You should be red. You should be yellow. You should be red. You should be yellow. You should be green. You should be red. You should be yellow. It's having some uh, real indecision in a way that we never do on this channel. I would love to pick your brain on this because I'm on Windows 10, and as far as I can tell, I have no control over anything. Yeah. On, is that on true? A, or on a I Windows device, just... the statement is that you will have extremely fine-tuned control over everything if you know how to edit the registry. Uh, so oh, you should be, you're should going to want to type regabit. And then you're going to want to. Uh, you should you have kidding? an application. Assi- no, no, I'm sorry. You should have an application associated okay. with your webcam um, that you can uh, look I up. I do, through. but it doesn't. I do, but it's it's a Logitech. Get this. Look. Not Logitech. It's a Microsoft Life Cam, right? Which is, you'd think, a very straightforward I, camera. Yeah, but use that, and you it, should. It there, doesn't. It, I, it doesn't I, come I'm with software you. built in. It is plug and play, so but you have I to looked. go find and download the software. And then, but I looked, uh, there's no software. This is what I'm telling. Sorry, like what we're tapping case, into right Lee, now is Lee, this you is are a going white whale to be, situation. Okay, for for anyone watching, that they, they are going to be just vibrantly colored today. No, just no, no. You know what I'm going to do? Here, hmm. fuck it. Watch this. Just bear with me here. <laughs> okay, you know that's that. I yes. Will say that. That's one Tear way to away. show a pride flag. You know, you're just you, your skin travels through all the colors of Ooh, the pride I flag. That's like right. That. Yeah. <clears throat> like depending on my distance to the camera, it's going to go through a whole rainbow. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's a and, Microsoft you know, it, Connect that's, application. Oh, I really love that. This idea of gestural controls, and then if you want to show specific pride flags, you have to move in an inhuman way. Like only vampires yeah. could, for instance, show trans flags because they have to like bounce between. You know, they have to skip over the greens <laughs> and the yellows for that, right? Correct. This is, but this is something that I yep. think could be pretty cool. Now, this is. Lee's room. Lee is currently cleaning things up. It looks like oh, oh they're switching to purple. Oh hell yeah! Oh of course, there it is. I love it. <laughs> Alistair Play says Pride Pride Revolution. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Oh yeah. Oh, Lee, I there. have good news. Yeah. The life cam has decided that you are now just pale. That's great. Well, and so I, I have good news for you too. I found Ooh. some guys on here. Uh, here's one. Oh, look at that! Mm. Oh, isn't he fun? It's like a, there's like a sloth. Yeah, kind of. Um, it's, it's like all of us in know, quarantine. That's incredible. I don't. I, I don't think I have time to look for all the other little guys I've found, but maybe an exercise for the viewer. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Look yeah. Solve the, the Where's Waldo behind Lee over the course of this episode. Yeah. Uh, so, but also, um, you know, chat. Uh, so I have looked for the software, for any software that would allow me to edit these things on my camera, and I've struggled with it and not found it. So as homework chat, if you are feeling like Nancy Drew or the Hardy Boys or Encyclopedia <laughs> Brown, please yeah, I will tell me 
I have solution. I have a very similar problem, and the stupid thing that I do because it works for whatever reason yeah. is I open up uh, XSplit VCam even if I'm not using it. And that has controls for my camera that I cannot yeah. get through the Logitech software. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's that actually what you're referring to. The control panel that opens in XSplit is the LifeCam control panel. It'll just literally open up the control panel. It'll access it through XSplit. Now, if I open XSplit right now, <laughs> is that gonna help me, or is that gonna end the show? <laughs> Just give it a just give it a try. Just give it a try. Wow, no, you're doing that, and uh, you're gonna do do anything. It's fine, Sean. Do all how's your week been? Do anything. Do I anything. Um, be fine. I, my 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 week has been really busy and not uh, that interesting. We have our we have our house home inspection for our uh, foster care agency this week, so we're yeah. we're sort of trying to get all ready for that. Uh, my only real big interesting news is that uh, I don't usually dream. Whoa. Occasionally I dream uh, or remember my dream a little bit. And two nights ago, I had a a dream that felt like a serial, like felt like a the continuation of a dream that I have had before, but I don't remember any ever having the dream before. Oh, serial with an S. S. Okay, got it. Not right? serial with a yeah, S. Yeah, 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 serial. Yeah. Uh, but it, but I think it was part of the character of the dream to feel like it was an ongoing thing. Uh, and then last night I had horrible nightmares about uh, poisonous Shit. jungle animals attacking me and my sister. So Damn. Just, wow. I'm not sleeping. This is wow. sort of where I am. You're dreaming. Well, I'm dreaming. Welcome to. Welcome to uh, well, I have a very exciting follow-up story. Yeah, like wow. Well, welcome to the dream committee. Whoop whoop! I uh, committee. I am um, in the unenviable position of having a cat that now wishes to do her rooster impersonation at five a.m. And Britt and I made a pact oh, that wow. we were not going to get up and do anything yeah. about it. Right, right. And sure, let me tell that, you, yeah. yeah, I could start to hear that little voice get more tired. Meow, meow, meow. And I remember saying to Britt at five in the morning. We're winning. <laughs> We're winning. She's she's tuckering out. She's tuckering out. And then eventually I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm rested. I didn't play string from five to six to try to wear out my cat so I could earn more sleep. It's so Amazing. good. Oh my Amazing. God. Treating myself to some lime fizzy water because I know how to party. Yeah, man. Very okay, good. I gotta, okay, so, so, so now I'm in... XSplit, I've got Microsoft LifeCam Cinema open. It's got color, it's got picture, it's got refresh. Not, It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, Should I give it up? Should I give up? Is this where I give up? To... Wait, Sean, do you load in XSplit as your video? I, uh, I'm i not today. I'm uh, Today I'm just using the, the Discord video, or I'm using my webcam through Discord. Oh. But I open up XSplit and do the, my configuration there and then hit save or apply or something and it changes there. Yeah, and, it, right. and if you, right, you should be able to right click on it and see a video input or video output. Um, yeah, tonight's Mostly Walking is uh, we're playing a game called XSplit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a <laughs> lot of fun. You know, I'm going to go insane. I, I'm already predisposed to this because I've been trying to get my I've been trying to get my, uh, um, I got a new monitor that's 4K and 144 hertz. And then I learned there's different, uh, not just different types of cables, there's different like levels of cables you mm. get into. And then yeah, it's terrible. So, so I have 8K cables. Mm. Hate it. Yeah. Well, I have good brain news is. for us. I saved the game with the name with the Remember to name. Interact in Inventory. And we have these it? objects. Oh, we have the yellow right. man mug. We have the damaged ledger. So what I can do is I can actually take this yellow man mug, click on it, and it opens this the up. Oh. So we've made almost no progress in this game at all. We've seen three screens, and we've had a young boy curse at us. So um, A lot. 
like a lot, like a substantial amount. Uh, it was Kuno. He's yeah. a grumpa dump. So, uh oh. We found a yellow man mug is one of the items that was in this trash can. We're trying to solve the murder of this hanging fellow. There's quite a lot to read into here, actually. Look at all that content. Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? The anthropomorphization of like everything in this game is so it's good. Amazing. All right, which, which one are we? This mug is an example of prejudice. I'm going to use it as an example of what not to do. Or I'm going to push this in the face of every merchant I find and tell them this is your inane ideology. <clears throat> the mug will be useful. By denouncing it, I can earn political capital to mask my badass hustling, i.e. fraud and embezzlement. The <laughs> mug doesn't belong. didn't belong in the trash. It was just a funny mug. Can't anyone laugh anymore? Oh, that guy. Don't be that guy. That's the, That's a, what's that, a reply guy? I feel like <clears throat> I'm going a two. Two is what I'm feeling for this character. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I really feel like we are we are yeah. confrontational and hysterical at all points in time. And we're, not like the ha-ha-ha ha hysterical. I we also, bring a lot of drama is what we bring. Yes, yeah, bring table. a lot of drama. And, and the thing that I want to do as an investigator yeah. is to read a ridiculous amount into everything that we find. Oh, that's oh, cool. there it so is. So we, we found this yell, this racist mug. This is not just an isolated item in a trash can somewhere. This is a representation of everybody's political beliefs, and I'm going to shove it into their face because it helps me understand this whole world. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, have you, have you heard that like psychological brain fart? I guess it is where the more dramatic the emotional experience someone's ha someone has, the more elaborate and big the explanation for it needs to feel to justify Ooh, it. Oh, that's do, good. Do you know this one? I mean, this is like that the is good. Like it, it's the basis for like conspiracy theory shit. You know, where it's just like, well, oh my god, it can't, it can't just be that due to some hot and cold air, a hurricane came and destroyed everything I know and love. There has to be something more going on here. You know, like right. Um, and I mean this this I think on a more personal basis, the place I heard about this was in terms of relationships. Where just because somebody wasn't into you and turned you down, your brain like fucking goes crazy and wants to like dig in right. really, 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 really hard. Um, yeah, yeah, and when and when you said that, I was like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. And the conspiracy theorist thing was yes. actually brought up, yes, on last week tonight, Blade GL, but I tragically heard cool. you know, I was I was I was dumped and I was sad. My mom was trying to explain to me as like a high schooler. You just get dumped sometimes wow. and it sucks and that's it. Stop thinking about it. There's right. nothing to think about. You just she's not into you, that's it. But mom, why? Who fucking knows? Just who, there's no why. You don't know. There's no it just sucks. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and her hands have been um, like this ever since. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they're they're still um, there. Oh, let me Yeah. I had something to say, but I, I had decided it probably wasn't worth saying and then I forgot it. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. I'm going to push this into the face of every merchant I find and tell them this is your inane ideology. So, again, you dug it out of the trash. Why? It wasn't going to offend anyone there. Why don't you just get back to your case? Wait, can I interact again? I want to get into that mud, mug talk. But it will not happen. <laughs> the mug talk is exhausted. It's time to return to work. Okay. Okay. Damn it. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held cabbage. together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. <laughs> I, can just, I can say... I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Wow. There's a piece of toilet paper. Where's a cleaning tissue? No. No, it's toilet paper. <laughs> Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Amazing. It's a metaphor for you. Yeah, yeah. Was... Uh... Wait, what? Are y'all having audio crackles? There was yeah. a crackle. There was a singular crackle. Okay, sorry. I. So, th this microphone, I can actually show you. It's attached by a cord, as, as a microphone is wont to do. Um, sure. And sometimes, as I move the microphone, I pull it out. So let me just adjust. Oh. Yeah, and, and it does all that shit. Okay. Okie dokie. It's brutal. Okie okay. okay. dokie. Smokey pokey. Yeah. Oh, and also, I gotta close this. Cool. 
Renful for you. Below the pathetic's terror, do not look into its blue heart. I love it. Um, I love Inland Empire so much. Thank you guys for yeah <clears throat> choosing oh. Inland Empire. It's Absolutely. so good. So so Lee, Lee, walk walk me through your thoughts on how to approach this answer. <sighs> Let's so, just overthink everything today. I don't want to do anything fast at all. So let's just let's just steep in the thought process of Lee Grainer here, man. Browse the white papers. Yeah. So I'm trying to tell if this is metaphor. Is it metaphorically? No, metaphor. it says it's cleaning tissue. I'm just yeah. confused by the ledger and the and the bathroom tissue. Well, so since, yeah, I think it's like a like a like a clipboard, right? Is yeah. what I'm picturing. Right. Uh, where it's got a bunch of loose leaf pages clipped to the front of it, and then it's got a piece of toilet paper stuck to the back because it was okay. Gooey so, and trashed. So inspect the toilet paper for sure. You, you yeah, got do it. that. It's just <clears> toilet paper. Sticking to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. Oh, leave it there. It seems important. Yeah. <laughs> kitchen tissue. What is kitchen tissue? <laughs> oh my god. Damn it! How the hell did cool. you get XP for that? That's amazing. Dude, this is th this game is the cleverest. All right, continue. Conceptualization. It says, everyone look at me in my toilet paper covered cop ledger. I don't care. My ledger is droopy and it smells like a urinal. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it with a classic top to bottom. Inspect the clip. Let's do it. An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Ooh, I'm going to touch that aluminum, baby. Yeah, let's do it. I want to feel it. Cold and smooth. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. Hey, Lieutenant, what's this? <laughs> what? He is lost in his own notes and took more for him to see. That thing? It's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information. Whoa. 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 How Whoa. do I read it? Barcode. Yeah. How, yeah, okay. how do I? Yeah, like a... All right. Any capable <laughs> light with the right wavelength will do. Like, for example... Like... All RCM vehicles have headlights designed or reveal out Headlights? Uh -oh. Hell well, yeah! We have access to that. Ooh, interfacing. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Interesting. What kind of information? It depends, aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp. Mine has my station number and address. This information varies by date of issue. Maybe address... You how many years you've been on the task force, he's thinking. It'll have that. That's all. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, white or yellow, Sean? What are you thinking? What's, what's the um, color of choice here? No, white. White. I think white papers are more important than yellow papers. Yeah, yellow papers kind of have like a an advertising implication to them, you know? Like it's... Uh, right. They're not Nobody cares about yellow papers. Oh, God. Or the yellow pages, except for stacking <laughs> things like monitors on top of. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across the entire page. The paper itself is checkered with a faint red lines, forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Case files! Commit to paper! The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. What is in there? What are they about? What is there? Oh, yes. Work, strife, what? poverty. The Jamrock Quarter. These are the handwritten Jamrock. logs of investigations dating back to January of 51. This year, the exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages <coughs> and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, maybe 30 <laughs> cases undertaken, not completed, mind you. It's the middle of March. You've attempted two cases a week on average. Damn. <laughs> You've got a lot of cases. It's two cases a week, a good load. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Yeah. Huh? 
He raises his nose from his notes. Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it unless you start making mistakes. So this is this is kind of <laughs> I like the first option. <laughs> Just very straightforward. <laughs> yeah, I mean like this is the sort of blithe cluelessness I would expect out of myself, right? Like yeah. two cases a week oh, yeah. appear to have been my workload, Lieutenant. I'm not sure I completed them though. Two? He raised both eyebrows. That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you're making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. I'm sure I make plenty of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I burned out. out right. I burned out all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh, not a nice brisk pace the way I like it. Right. Not this. Oh. But I mean, I, I'm I'm literally trying to find a sad song to sing at the karaoke night. Do you really right. want me to say I'm I'm burned out already? Right? I, I do. I do. I feel like you know the mystery of how did how did I come to destroy my life uh, is right. as much sort of what i'm after here is everything else oh yeah yeah oh and this is a clue to that right like i sure as hell burned out ended up in a motel uh so drunk that i can't remember who i am (laughs) yeah that's good (laughs) that's okay he nods then turns back to his own case files we all do sooner or later who who is this nice man who just i mean he's care of us he just absorbs everything. It's amazing. He's incredible. Yeah, I feel like he's. I don't think he's nice so much as I think he's just managing us right now. You know what I mean? Like this oh, feels yeah. like. But like, there's an there is an interesting thing happening, in that I feel like, uh, so so there's so much leeway into how we define our character that we are sort of discovering as we play, right? And so the game gives us the secondary character who is a dynamic, who we are supposed to be bouncing off. Um, But because our character is so not yet defined, I guess, Uh um, I think Kima has to be something particular and special to, like, not be super reactive i think like yeah. we're gonna say some weird shit to him and he's gotta just kind of roll with it oh yeah otherwise he would probably be too difficult yeah. to write <laughs> <laughs> he's the straight man basically but it, yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. all right I, i'm gonna hit him with was there a mention of naming conventions yeah yes it appears you employ a shall we say robust yet literary system each investigation Amazing. has its case number written on the margins yet Still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. Yes. Oh, dude, can I just say fizzy water is the greatest shit ever. I love yeah. fizzy water. I love fizzy water. I like Soda Stream. Soda Stream's great. Except a refill of their dongle thing takes like sixty dollars. Yeah. I just like buying it in the can because you get the and you throw it away. Oh, and like yeah. that that sequence of sound is really essential to me. What if SodaStream gave you reusable, sealable cans? Absolute. I mean, that's better than that's better than soup tube. That's incredible. That's a great, great soup tube. You, Tell me you, about this. Oh, this is just some soup? stupid thing on the internet <laughs> that came up. Some girl talking about how frustrated she was that, about her boyfriend's uh, big billion dollar idea, which is soup tube, which is you would install pipes in the city that had different kinds of soup. And then you would pay a monthly yeah. subscription to, like, the soup, and then you could have that pipe with a faucet linked directly to your house. If you wanted, like, right. chicken noodle soup, you would just turn that soup tube, and out it would come. But then you could oh. have different subscriptions to, like, chicken noodle or split pea or, you know, like... Right. So I, I want to be the person... I want to be the municipal person in charge of testing the soup for, like, pathogens and, you know, microbes... Um, I want to be sticking litmus paper in that. Like I want to, I want to be in the street. I want to open up a, a hatch, and then I want to open up like part of a tube, and then I want to dip litmus paper in it. Oh, oh! You and need to have like, like, like one of those extendable eight feet ladles that you can like move through, yeah. like like a hatch to like get through, and then like pull it back yeah. out and pour it in a thing, and you have like hazmat stuff. Oh, that's great. 
And then, like, as I'm looking really closely at the litmus paper, like, a raccoon or, like, a small dog or a cat, like, runs up mm. and starts, like, licking the moving soup in the in the tube. And I'm like, shoo, shoo, get out of there. Get out of there. You know? That's I wanna, what I want. I want to be the um, member of the city council who's tying uh, his re-election campaign to the success of Soup Tube. And I'm trying to roll it out into test districts, right? Like maybe, maybe not downtown, but like Torrance. Like I'm getting them involved and trying to like really get marches for Soup Tube in the streets of Long Beach. And I'm like doing these like um, town halls where I'm talking about we're going to be rolling out uh, about four to eight new soup flavors by the end of 2023. You know, I'm really interested in that sort of. Oh, this is good case. Yeah, no, that's yeah, it's really good. Oh my God, that's a good utility. It's a good utility. Oh, it's Dad. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy (laughs) to see Dad. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my God. She likes this new arrangement where. We share an office. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to want to stare at your cat the whole time. I'm going to move this. A title, one might even say. One that draws inspiration from Snoop Fiction and Vespertine Cop Show. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my, they're written in capital letters, too. Yes, of course they are. Oh, wait a minute. What what was our name last time? It was like Dick Bullion or something. Like what was it? Oh, Dick, oh, Dick Bullion. Yeah, yeah something was, like that. The the, uh, the joke, the um, the name that all of the other cops called us. Dick Mullen. Uh, that's right. Yeah, because maybe yeah. Ma- yes. ma- maybe this is where it comes from. Yes, all caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another, yet the Unsolvable Case. More. Others appear more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location, and the murder at the hookah parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. Oh, it's going to take it. an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done later once you're done inspecting them up close. I, Kim, I, I, I love all of this. Yeah. I don't really need Kim's input on that, but that's fine. No, that's good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kim, my case appeared to employ some kind of naming convention. You mean alphanumeric? <laughs> Officer? Precinct? Time of arrival at the scene? No, I mean a non-numeric one with titles. Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, almost everyone in the RCM does. Why is that? <clears throat> Hold over from the early days of RCM, the right after the revolution when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. Yes. I, see, yes. Murders. I seem to have named <laughs> Again, your defense I seem to have named one He peeks into his notes The man with the hole in his head That was a real person, his death was real I still named it that, to amuse myself <laughs> Yeah, Kim It's good Smile. Smiles are praised loved ones will never find out What happened to him? Real spike through the head, he died It was a workplace accident Oh, oh Brutal. It's brutal. All right. I have to open an official case. Is there room? There it is, for precisely one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. Commit to paper. Sadly, the ledger only comes with an old worn-down lead pencil. It's unfitting for this monumental event. Kim, do you have a pen? Yeah, let's get a pen from Kim. The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder. Like large so caliber bur- bullets in an ammo belt. <laughs> Jesus. I love how over the top this writing is. So much. It's downright incriminating. He has little choice but to give you one. Although he really <laughs> does not want to. Oh, yeah. He's not really saying anything, just standing there, looking at them. I know you thought I'm doing that. Yes, yes. This one? one? This one? Number one? Absolutely. Yes. You know, you have to give me one, right? That is how human society works, I believe. Wordless, he pulls one from the loop and hands it to you. The pen is cold, blue, and ready to write. (laughs) Write this, dude. 
The tasks you've completed flow out of the blue oblong pen in a brash, free hand uncannily similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would be out of place. Cross out the ones you've already finished. Woohoo! Satisfying slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, and you! <laughs> Things to be done and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizens' militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. Ooh. <laughs> name the case. No, actually, any ideas? The furies are at home in the mirror. The setting sun. <laughs> Shit on a stick. I like the setting sun, honestly. All right, dude. Oh, oh, Glauron64 comes into chat and says, Spoons, absolutely. Spoons in the setting sun. Spoons. Okay, okay, he nods. It's a good name, but it has one problem. This case has nothing to do with the setting sun. At all. It has nothing to do with that. So, something more concrete, perhaps? Do you have something concrete, mundane, usual? <laughs> the Furies are at home in the mirror. I kind of really like that one i would totally do the hangman and i feel like that's where we're gonna end up but yeah I've... furies yes well it's obvious he doesn't like it i don't know i have to be honest i'm not experiencing the internal strife that refers to and also he furrows his brow could we make it less poetic somehow just a normal case name you know think what would that be a good normal name shit on a stick i'm going <laughs> for it man <laughs> Ha! Yes! He isn't actually laughing. I have to tell you, officer, I don't appreciate ironic titles. Other officers will have to use this as a reference. If it's idiot or cockfinger, they're not going to get it. You're going to think oh, an idiot and a cockfinger are on this case. So, do you have something less funny? I mean... I don't have another name. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I don't have another name. Oh, well, maybe I can suggest one. Let me guess. No. Let me guess. Let me guess. Can I suggest one? Guess. No. Okay, then. He returns his nose abruptly. The case doesn't need to have a name. Fantastic. Bummer. You've offended Bummer. him. Bummer. Kim, I'm sorry. Let's name this case again, okay? Fine, he concedes. <laughs> For inter-district cooperation, let's try one more time. What do you want to name it? The Hanged Man. Great! That's great! That's actually what I was thinking, too. <laughs> the Hanged Man. Good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, th there's something hilarious about that moment where we get experience like yeah. the timing yeah. of it is so funny like it reminds me of playing like taboo or balderdash or something or what charades like one of those games where you're, one team's trying to get another team to state the guess and one team says something insane and th the response is a correct guess and i was like ha ha, ha. like i'm getting that same sort of thing man yep. this is great yep oh he flips the pages of his notebook. I'm going to be start calling it The Hanged Man. It's good we sort this out. I'm done inspecting these. Okay. Medium logic? Ooh. Ooh. Can I read the case? Ooh. Ooh. Are you yeah. ready to roll? Yeah. I yeah. bet we can do it. No. Oh. Not at this time. What are the yellow papers? All right. In the back, you see thin, translucent copier paper. Some neon yellow, some bright red, all covered in boxers like marching armies. Those look like official forms waiting to be filled out. <laughs> then rip them from the binder and hand them out according to the type of form. What types of forms are there? Three, the top most are misconduct fines, the middle ones are station calls, and the bottom most are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. Ooh. You don't have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. <laughs> field autopsy. Oh. Yeah dozen pages of thin copy paper bright and red color blah 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 waiting to be filled out age sex condition of internal organs uh what station call quite sinister in tone they give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified precinct police station below the call of the criminal charges you risk by not appearing in this comedy <clears throat> fine a monetary penalization ranging from 20 to 250 real a real excuse me severe cases allow for 1000 real but that requires special paperwork okie dokie enough of uh, those yes yeah, so all that remains now is to Fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines for wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies for dead guys. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Well, it looks like I've regained HP or some shit. Great. What delicious power Sweet. in this pathetic mess. Oh, That's look at her little sure. face down there. We're looking good. Grinning. All right, let's yeah. look at the kit clipboard. Yes, it's that's what I want. Oh, yeah, dude, let me tell you. This is made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The u 4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters. R-C-M. Uh, yeah. What did you say the color was? Yeah, blue. The blue heart. Don't look into it. I just love it. Shake it's, it. It's so blue. Shake it. Shake that fucker. Something rattles inside ever so lightly. Is there a yeah, hidden compartment? Yeah, yes there is. Permeables. It's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials. It would get damage if something happened to it. Peek inside. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli. But it is not enough see-through. You cannot see to its center. Uh, how, how would I open it? Yeah. Open the hidden compartment of the clipboard. Ooh, I'm definitely going to smell I mean, that's it. A... Okay, go ahead. The acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat, the stuff of death itself, and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. Oh my the God. writing is, it's just so, it has such a strong voice, this writing. Yeah, it's really it good. Does. It is so voiceful. Okay, uh, so uh, what's the play? Do we just do we just cap this and move on with life? Do you want to you want to wait until we have better interfacing to to do that interfacing thing? I'm not gonna lie, I, mean, yes. I feel lucky. We got okay, a so what, is, what is interfacing again? Do we have a do we have oh, a description I for that? I think it's, I think it's interacting right with things in the world. Motorics, master Picking, machines, oh, okay, yeah. pick locks and pockets. Yep. Uh, so are you ready? Three, yes, two, two one. Oh yeah. my god, a critical hit! Hmm, the two oh, sides good. of the board appear slightly misaligned, like a drawer that's come off the slides. If you bend the plastic on your knee slowly, the slides snap back into place. It should be possible to just, you know, slide the drawer open. Fuck no, oh, yeah. put the ledger away. No, yeah. I wanna know, I wanna know. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Ooh. Fucking <laughs> kill yourself, you <laughs> asshole. Jesus. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? All right, what? pick up the ticket what? stubs. Sure. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. The tickets permit access to a zoo in a Revachal East. The aquarium costs extra. These let you go there too. What? Pick up the card. Mm -hmm. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. Do we want to smell it, twist it, turn it, or bop it? Or open smell it. it. Smell it. Always smell. smell. It. Always be smelling. This was protected from the rest of the trash. It smells of chewing gum, apricot flavored. Open it. What is this? Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card, looped rounded letters in a woman's hand. A young woman in her 20s. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think. Well, that is not something that you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins, you're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Volition, throw it away, please. But, but it will make me happy. Keep reading. Okay. I want to know. Okay. All right. That's fine. Sorry. I'm sorry. I like, I like, arguing, I like arguing with parts of myself. Yeah. It's right. Fun. Your hand shakes, holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has already filled me entirely. I step on the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I knew it will be like this until late afternoon when I get off the 42 and walk back to you. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep reading. Yeah, yes. You, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always, always come back to it. This, this woman's in love with a magnet. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood oh. sucked out of your head. Are Everything we... around you gets dark, small Died? white dots appear. Did we died? You feel the ledger slip from your hand. Oh my god, I'm lost. Oh Sorry. shit! No, no, hold on. Uh, do you want to hold on or fall sideways? Uh, uh, falling sideways is probably better than falling forward. That's true. I would say hold on, though. Okay. Okay, let's just hold I on. Don't know the, I don't know how much insurance. To what? There's oh, nothing. There Detectives, everything all right? Let's fall sideways. Wow, please insert disc two. Damn, wow. Is this an act break? Uh. What? It's the is, title. Is it, yeah, is this the, uh, was that the cold open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we spend two roll? and a half episodes getting through the uh Oh, is the game is the game audio like real quiet right now? Was that did we lose? I even was noticed. It? Because, you know, it's a reading game. There is nothing. Oh. We lo we we lost. That was a yeah. fucking violet ending. We lost? What happened? What? Why did we die? Why did we die? I, okay, was it I don't know. Good question. No, I think it was. I think wait, we were wait, wait, wait. unable to. That wasn't a game over. It wasn't. Oh, you know, story time. When I was a kid, uh, I played a fantastic role-playing game called Chrono Trigger, and it it's a kind of a traditional JRPG-ish structure where there's like a lot of story and then you do some battling and adventuring and then you do some more story and then you do some battling and adventuring and there's a particular fight that you are supposed to lose. It, you're, it is designed oh, yeah. so that you lose and what would happen is when I would lose, I would go ah oh, fuck and I'd just hit the reset button and go back into the fight and I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until <laughs> finally I just, I died and then I went up uh, or went downstairs to get some food and came back upstairs, and then it was fine. Everything was totally fine. Right? It's terrible. Like, and I was sort of like, holy shit, how much time did I waste? And uh, that's 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 us again right now. So let me plow wow. through this. Yeah, that's 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 always a bummer. I mean, it was really cool the first time it happened. I remember that. Because it happens in uh, Mega Man X as well. Does it? Yeah, some a-hole comes and kills you, and then... It happens in one of the God of War games. It happens in, I think, some Final Fantasy games. It's it. I, I I'm I'm giving a lecture next week about why you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Academic burn. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a cool effect if if you pull it off, but it is real hard to pull off, and yeah. If it doesn't work, then it's it sucks. Well, so like in Mega Man X, they uh, you get down to like almost the end of your life bar, and then you um, you fall into a uh, you take a knee, and you're 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 all full of uh, sparks and stuff, and then the red guy comes in. I can't remember in Mega Man X is the red guy Proto Man or no Proto Man's in Mega Man. It's, it's like Somebody else. Uh, chat, if you remember who the red robot is, who's your ally in Mega Man X, um, why don't you spam chat with that? It's uh, a game. Zero. Wait zero. a minute. Zero. Dude, you zero. guys, zero. We, we critical the thing that was interfacing. To open it. Yeah, so we critical like... interfacing. We might not get that again. Right. Oh, this has RNG. And fingers crossed. Alright, so I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna save it right now. Sure. Yep. And we're just gonna spam it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so sneaky. Yeah, and I know this is wrong. This is wrong. But all I'm trying to do is get back to where we were so we can continue to just create hey, it. That autosave is no good, is it? Is that what oh, save scumming uh, is? No. Yeah, yeah, this is what save scumming is. Um <clears throat> But we're doing it righteously. This is righteous safe scum. Yeah, yeah this, this is this is for the people. Yes, thank you. So, one of my favorite uh, interactive fiction. Uh, Holy shit! We were meant yeah. to do this. Yeah. 
What are oh, the yeah. chances? Probably 100 out of 100. Tw 28 out of 100, Eight? probably. This is probably smoke and mirrors. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite uh, interactive fiction pieces is called Violet. Uh -huh. uh, and I'll probably just spoil it because I don't know. No! It's well, read it now. But it's. Right, put um, on your bear mouse, everybody. It's really, it's super good. You, it, the, Actually, the, wait, like I'm going to be the only person who doesn't hear this. Okay. It's like a locked room mystery sort of a thing, uh, or escape room, like a uh, traditional style game. And you are, you're trying to write your thesis, uh, your PhD thesis. And yeah. your girlfriend has given you an ultimatum that if you don't do it today, then she's going to leave you. And oh uh, so you're like, you've locked yourself in your office trying to write this damn paper and keep, things keep distracting you. And that's the game is like figuring out how you can remove all the distractions. So you can do this thing. And uh, the, the sort of twist ending is that uh, she was planning a surprise birthday party for you and set up a secret video camera in your office. Uh, not, for the I forget related to the surprise birthday or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and at the end, like it turns out that she has watched you do the ridiculous things that you have to do in order to actually write this paper so that your girlfriend doesn't break up with you, uh, and is is sort of impressed by that. Uh, but you can find the camera, uh, and if you explore the room enough to find the camera at the beginning of the game, then the game just ends. It says, like, uh, I, f I forget what the message is that it gives you, but it's basically like, whoops, you shouldn't have done that. Things don't work out good. Uh, try again. Uh, and huh. I got that ending, and I was like, holy shit, what's going on? Because it doesn't want to spoil the actual ending, so it doesn't tell you exactly what oh, you found shit. or what happens. Um, but there is this sense of, like, uh, a... a, a a secret bad ending that you can stumble upon. Huh. Then I'm not going to say anything more about that because I want Lee to come on back in here. Wow. So how was that? I was. I just jabbered on for a while, you know. Okay. I'll have to catch it in the. Uh, I'll catch it on the vod. All right. I mean, just play Violet. Okay. But it, okay, I'm going to find out what happens. I, mean, on this I, probably, I probably won't get around to it. Actually, wait, no, I'm going to do the exact same <laughs> sequence. 100%. Hey. No, let's yeah. do the do the thing. All right. Kisses, kisses, so, kisses. Small white dots appear. Is this related to the reading, or is this just our brain okay, eating this, itself? Is this, is this going to be like, this is the game? Like, this is the first this is the first loop in a time loop or some shit like that? No, I think we're passing out again, and and it's waking us up again, and... Waking up again feels very similar to waking up the first time, maybe. Do you think we'll wake up? Yeah, I guess. I guess you're addressing it with the time loop thing, but. Um, and this is a weird, a yeah. weird way to do this. There is nothing. A guy. Oh, oh okay. I literally needed to click so once, close. and I just. There is we nothing. So and I'm like, close. I know the guy. I'm out. I'm outy, man. I don't give a shit. Let me tell you something. I have some Fritos I gotta go get from downstairs before I find the big surprise. Oh, Fritos. No, nothing. Nothing said, brother. No treachery. Just blackout. This is like that guy from TV. Man, what voice is this like? I, I believe it's uh, his voice. product was ShamWow. Really? Yes. Buy a sham wow. You yes. can clean with it. <laughs> Look at this pan. There's nothing. <laughs> Perfectly clean. Um, Alright, just lie there, well, Pastor. Almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light of the sun fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Basil ganglia. <laughs> Just scrub the pan down with some basil ganglia. That's me. <laughs> Blue eyes. That's me. Ugh. And, 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 and who was that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness, he's grasping for it. 
still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. Yeah, I think I'm. I I, I think we're. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm in there. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm after slimy. In the I'm not cool. The alien cortex. We call it the shadow. The, shadow. the, the paleo mammalian. Pa paleo mammalian is an incredibly <laughs> satisfying thing to say. That is. Amazing. Oh my. I am the very model of a paleo mammalian. Uh, yeah, right. Because it's always there. <laughs> thought game. I thought, we were, white morning. No, I thought we were calling it the shadow, not the uh, not the uh, white morning. Okay, where where was that? Where the X wrote? something? The bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape. Its lack of beauty was not the problem. I don't understand this. Where story. is Wager Road? Where is where is it? I need it. I need to know. There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on poor. It's a lie. What Shut if I up. hit it again? There is no void. There is no. There is no. Keep going. Keep no, going until the game breaks. There is. Do there, it. Is there is. 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 There is no Voyager Road. Now, no now, Sean, do you think it's no uh, houses, no lights in the windows? Is, it's uh, all um, on poor. This, do you think this is a recursive? Do you think we'll get a Stack Overflow, or do you think it's maybe? Uh, uh, oh, I think. I think I have. My is it iterative overflow? Okay. Yeah. Stack or heap is what I'm saying. Let me, let me crank this puppy up again. Let's find it to a high. I hide. think they would let you until you disintegrate into biomolecules. No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting uh -oh. your pupils, stupid uh -oh. idiot. Stupid right. idiot. I'm gonna. What is that? I'm gonna tell them what's up. I'm not coming back. Oh, but you are. Right. They're pouring something on you. In you. It. Oof. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. That's how they get you. Yep. Oh, dude, look look at this coloring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where am I? There's some image processing shader effects. Oh, yeah. Kupri yeah. Kinima in the upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage. Seated in the driver's <laughs> basket, the air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink water. The lieutenant is extending a small canister oh, to your mouth. Drink water. Drink. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, give me that health. The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself. As it pours down your parched throat, the pounding in your head recedes the darkest parts. Drink. He tells the canister, you haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. How does he know that, though? He's so us. smart. How... About us? Yeah. I no, get the that, impression that, that, that it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, that we haven't drunk as water. Or is are you water? saying, how does he know that humans need water? Do you think he's part of, of big water? Big water. Big water. He represents big water. He represents big water. Yeah, big what, water what if he's trying it? to push the watery agenda upon us? Oof. The Never old... Dihydrogen monoxide cartel. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, I've seen the that. Good old dihydrogen di monoxide. All right, I'm gonna. I lie. I lie. Dihydrogen. What happened? I should ask you the same. <laughs> that's so, yeah. That's good. That's, that's so really good. stupid. That's really that's, stupid. That's really good. I came in contact I... with the burnt out ruins of the past, Lieutenant. Yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm gonna hit it with a. The big two, man. Ledger of failure and hatred. Hell yes, we got her back. That does happen. That does sometimes happen. He hands you the remains of your ledger. He replies with such understanding, it's as if the burnt out ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. Athlete's foot for cops. You dropped this. Are you okay to proceed? Let's solve this yeah, case. Yeah, let's solve. Oh, I feel so good. I... It, I think it has taken me to this point to like really get into this game, uh, oh. and now I'm really in this game. I feel like I'm still not really into this game. I mean, I love it. I like it. I just don't feel like I get it. 
Yeah, sure. You know, sure, sure, sure. You know, I... So I can actually can hold I... this out, and it, it is a tool that I can use, and I can also, oops, click on it and interact with it like this. So we're going to hope to fail. Oopsie daisies, it looks like our save scumming has succeeded. Yes, you can about it. piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB41, then date of Hurry. initialization and time of arrival on mm. the scene, followed by the title. For example, HBD41120117 colon 00, the next world mural. What is... Oh, what? Weren't those Officer Precinct? Look, Officer we're... Precinct? I was right, we are Harry Dick Bullion. That's our name. <laughs> like, I knew I was close. <laughs> Were those officer precinct? Oh my god. Why, well, yes, your precinct number is 41 and HDB. Every last alphanumeric in the files begins with it. These are your case files. It's safe to say <laughs> HDB are your initials. Horace Demi Beringer? Prom Dar Darjan? Binjikin? Binjikin. Is it, Binjikin. I think it's Those aren't my initials. I'm not I, feeling them. I would go with number three. I think we're reinventing ourselves here. I'm like willing that. to jettison the past. Feeling isn't really the jurisdiction we're in right now. Oh, fuck off logic. Logic is such a big pile of bummer. It is. It's just, it's just bummer central, man. You know... I, it... Can I just say, I'm sort of fascinated by how often, when I was a kid, I would think that I my thought process was being logical or rational, but really what it was, was completely emotionally incapable. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I Did you invent the internet? Yeah, right? It's <laughs> like, like, well, think about it logically. If we're trying to be logic here, X, Y, Z, and really it's just, Sean, you're clearly mad and don't know how to communicate your anger. And so you're using those words. Yeah, Everything that has right. begun with, I'm being logical, just think about it, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. It's all the most emotionally charged nonsense possibly writable. Yeah, it's also um, it's also reductive, which is great too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's great. like it's like I have the I have the fifis that I'm not gonna say, and I also am going to overlook most of what I know to be true in, in the world, just just yeah. to cherry pick what I need. If we can isolate all these facts into not a vacuum, but into a context that they are not, so that we can only be wrong with our conclusions. Here's one such conclusion I could draw from those givens. So just think about it. Uh, and and often, often those dumbass statements are accompanied by such real always lo always lose phrases like, "I'm just saying." Oh, you know? yeah. I'm just saying. No offense, man. Just hey. think like just. Yeah. I'm just saying. Someone had to say it. Um, yeah. Yeah. My favorite. My favorite phrase from like. Um, I think it's from like Bible Belt or like even weirder like sort of fringy kind of places is uh, study it out, which is like- I am not is, familiar with that. I think it's like a, it could be like a religious thing. It can be like, you know- um, Never heard Something, this. something, teachings from the Bible, study it out, you know, How? like, but, but you can also do it politically. Wait, can you, so you use can say, it like, in a sentence for me? Yeah, you could just be like, you know, those chemtrails, they're getting us every day. Study it out, you know, just like study it out. Which means, do, I think it means if you haven't reached the conclusion I have, like, you just have more. And you, you, yeah, you have more work to do, right? Yeah. Like, I, the, the, the way I've heard it is, do the research. Oh, that's good, too. You I know, remember... I enjoy, I enjoy It Turns Out. You could say, it, turn, it turns out, uh, the chemical oh. oh, you know? Oh, it, it, God, I never thought about the phrase, it turns out. Because I, I use that phrase to sort of describe <laughs> whenever there is a change that occurred like you know i used to think that i was bad but it turns out there's this easy <laughs> trick that allowed me to be the best you know like there's, there's, yeah. those sorts of phrases but like it turns out is such a great way to imply that the person you're speaking to didn't think that until you started talking. yeah that's amazing yeah, yeah that's right hey hey this chicken it turns out needs salt <laughs> Study it out. It turns out. Study it out. 
do the research. Do, you know? do the research. Yeah, I um I ordered I think tacos and the delivery woman um I asked her to set it on the ground uh cuz she wasn't yeah. wearing a mask and I was wearing a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh and just as like a weird power play. Uh, that's right. That's right. None of it had to do with functional reality. I was feeling insecure and I was like, put it on the ground. Yeah, that'll teach you. And then I spat. Um, right. No, I, I, you spat, I, you, 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 you spat blood, uh, upward into her face. <laughs> that's right. That while, while doing a cartwheel, it was, it was very, it was very sucker punch of me. Uh, so yeah. like the, um, you know, because a lot of the delivery services are like, do you want contactless delivery? And I'm going, oh, if you just, yeah. you know, and I gesture to the yeah. ground. Everyone's like, great. And I put it down. Hey, cheers. But she goes, you know, the virus is a hoax. And I went, I want my tacos. And she said, <laughs> and she said, it's not a body virus. It's a mind virus. Oh, well, and that's. I mean, and I, wow. I was really hungry. Wow. So this was not even <laughs> registering. I was, I was just continuing to gesture. It's so just right here on the ground. This is perfect. It's right there. And, and she says, it's 5G. It's 5G. It's causing a mind virus. And I went, okay. And I just took my stuff. And she goes, do the research. Do the research. Look it up. Do the research. And I think that what she meant is find the JPEG that I found on Facebook. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, JPEG! Uh-huh. Find the JPEG. Look at the JPEG. Look at it. Or excuse I mean, me, look at the okay, PNG. So, it's lossless. So <laughs> the problem... <laughs> vector the problem is okay so 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 it's hard for me so here's two here's something i've studied out is that like if you go on like the actual news if you look at like you know like the new york times or the washington post or the la times which i get it like everything's biased like you have to at some point pick your like source of truth i trust the lamestream media but they're just like oh also russia all of this russian plot to disinform us and i'm like okay so if it's a russian plot to disinform us then i can't really hold it against people necessarily who get misinformed or disinformed because it's like uh it turns out that like propaganda and like and like disinformation campaigns like they work they like legit work so it's like hard to hold it against people sometimes a major world power is trying to convince you that it's 5g and so yeah like you know what are you gonna do you may as well yeah. just give into it because you know it's hard it's hard for the salmon to swim upstream there's actually a large force <laughs> of salmon that go fuck it and they well, just that, they just do this yeah. into the bear right turns out I'm just, and that's I, i'm just like, like her saying like it's a 5g mind virus is just like okay like this is why like this is like you've you're you've converted not like to a religion but you've converted like a click on the internet this is like okay well this is why advertisement this is why there's ads like you're you're proving out that you know ads work disinformation works yeah we don't have a. it's like we are not lizards we are apes and this is an ape exploit yeah and you know i i think that an important response that one should think about and reflect upon is i think one of the biggest dangers in the information age that most people i know are guilty of this which is that i let's say i i am right about something like who sure, won the 1996 world series right let's sure let's guys, imagine let's, that possibility for devil's advocate let's imagine yeah. i'm right about one thing um yeah you know like if if you know who won the, the 96 world series and someone else says the wrong thing yeah. In that moment, it's so important for you to say, I am okay that that person was wrong about that thing. Because mm-hmm. I think a lot of people really don't know what to do when they can tell they're right and the other person's wrong in an objective sense. Yeah. And then if we take, and again, let me not step to subjectivity, just objectivity. Like, oh, yeah, no, I think the Kansas City Chiefs won the World Series. You know, like one of those sorts of comments. We are like, no, it's a football team. What are you talking about, right? People will condescend. What are you talking about? What are you? Yeah. They're, they're not even the right thing. Or they will, um, you know, put down or get mad or frustrated or exasperated or all these like really right. negative emotional experiences. Um, or they'll try to kick the door in and be like, no, no, that's wrong. There's this, and they will rush as fast as they possibly can to try to get the other person to catch up. And right. one of the things that I feel like was really helpful in my math program is that they emphasize that 
if you're doing a proof, it is important that you don't speed up to get to the conclusion. You try to slow down. And oh. I would encourage any of you... Okay, well, actually, before I say the encouragement, uh, so I was talking about objective. If we get to subjective, which is like, here's a thing that I think is good in the game I'm playing, and you're doing something different, and you're on my team, good exasperation, yeah. yelling, condescension, oh, this idiot who does this. When really just being a little bit thoughtful and conversational with someone who you think is wrong, having empathy for them or accounting for the fact that maybe you're wrong or trying to work with them as a collaborator. Two people having a discussion trying to work towards the conclusion together by slowing down instead of being exasperated or kicking the door and any of that stuff. Because I found yeah. that, that like has made my life so much lower intensity. Because I, I am in particular, like in high school, if someone said something wrong, I'd be like, that's wrong, nope. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, it was... So, I mean, yeah. I think, frankly, that's part of the reason why I gravitated towards math. Is I could just be right. like, no, this is right, that's wrong. Nope, yes, no, no. You know, and when, like with StarCraft, like, no, you're wrong, you're bad. No, I, I beat you, you're bad. You know, I, I was one of those people. And it was really, really hard for me to, like, see forum discussions where there's just a bunch, bunch of people having fun discussing stuff. They're not trying to win. They don't even fucking play StarCraft. They're just chatting about it because it's kind of cool. Um, and I would just be like, I literally couldn't handle reading forums, you know, and that's when there's an issue. So I think that's something I encourage everybody to do. You know how there's like the blunder years? I, I would love to hear stories just of people's like hot headed years. Like, oh, I love it. Like, oh, I, I yeah. feel like a lot of people go through a phase where they, uh, yeah, they just have very low, what, what do you call it? Temper or what? Um, yeah, just the hot-headed years. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't do, hear about them. Do you, do you have any uh, hot-headed years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had hot-headed years. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're lucky that we yes. can tell stories about them and make them funny as opposed to this generation where you just follow their TikTok and you go back in time right. and look like a clown dart. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of a good... I don't know if there's a good hot-headed years story. I mean, I definitely, like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I had a lot of times where, I, you know, it would cause trouble. Uh, but I, oh. I'm not thinking of a good story. I'm going to have to think about it. I I'm got, sure I there's a one. good one. I got yeah. one. This is this is really good. Uh, so yeah, This better not be one of my stories that you're going to tell about me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got one. This is really good. This time when Lee was like 16. What? <laughs> Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been really scraping your data to get this, man. I've been, I've been, on, I've been scraping. I can feel I've been going, it. I can tell. I've been going on the deep web. I've been going to those dot onion sites cool. on my tour and trying to find out information about that Lee G, um, which yeah. is a mind virus, by the way. So yeah, that's right, a five B. Yeah. So when I was, I when I first went to college, I got yeah. a like. Let me describe the story objectively. I got a girlfriend. Who you got one? I I. <laughs> I got, college, I, you got one. You I, got one. I, I wound up in a situation where I would have a girlfriend. And yeah. she broke up with me. And uh, she didn't say this, but this is me saying this now. I was a lot. I had a lot of feelings. And, you know, was like a very yeah. like, emotional. And I had no idea what to do with any of it. Because no one teaches how, emotional intelligence in America. Um, right. and, and so she broke up with me and she dated somebody else. Oh. Yeah. And that, uh, that, that hurts, but that's about it right that's that like like as a as a 34 year old i'd be like well you that was probably a lot of pain but you know that's actually a completely yeah. benign experience that happens literally right. all of the, it's probably happening millions of times a day or one of those Jesus, statistics like you know, that yeah right like it's, there's a lot of that happening but i absolutely lost my mind like i couldn't sleep and I would like go eat lunch and I would see that she like wasn't at lunch and my brain would be like, <gasps> she's probably at lunch somewhere with him, right? And I, yeah, I, yeah, I remember yeah. I was just like, okay, I need to get over this. And the way to do that is by trying to fall in love with somebody else. And so there oh. was, oh yeah, oh yeah, right. Um, you know how to do that, right? You just put your thumb in your mouth. Okay, ready? Everybody who's watching, okay. fall right. in love, put your thumb in your mouth mm -hmm. and now blow as hard as you can. <laughs> I work. miss her, right? Oh, 
So, so I I was like, I'm gonna go to a party and I'm gonna meet people, right now. Yeah. There's there's little lies you say to yourself. Like if I if I was talking to eighteen year old Sean, I'd be like, it's okay to be sad. That's what I would say. Yeah. And I would just yeah. spend some time being sad and be like, well, let's just spend some time with your sadness. Okay. Now, what are things that bring you joy that have nothing to do with other people? Who like just return to yourself, return to your comforts. Let's think about those sorts of things. Um. And, but the little lie I told myself is, no, no, I'm just going to meet people, and maybe I'll get a new girlfriend. Maybe not. Both are fine. Yeah. Total lie. Both were not fine. I needed a new girlfriend to prove that I was worthwhile as a human being. So what I did is I is I went I went to a, a party. Okay? Now, at, oh. at, at my college, yeah. parties typically ran from 9 to 1. And they were, like, advertised. You know, they'd, they'd hire literally the same DJ for every party. <laughs> Because it was not a huge college campus, it was the same DJ, period. Oh. And so, um, I I was like, oh my god, there's a party. I better get there early so I can meet people. And so I'm there at like 8.30 and there's no fucking buddy. So you can there. meet people. Cool. Like, there's there's like cool. after the party, like, you're going to beat people at the party, like get a leg up? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Because, you know, much like everything I've ever become good at, you got to put in the time. So I may as well. If people are going to party for four hours. I was going to party for five and a half by showing up early and staying late. <laughs> so, um, and I, I, I also, I also didn't drink at the time. So I didn't even have the assistance of chemicals to loosen me up. I went there oh. with, with my over caffeinated, lanky emotion body covered by bits of hair and acne, right? That was me just, <laughs> uh, 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 girlfriend, right? So I was there. The music wasn't even playing. You could just hear the reverberating echoes of me stepping around trying to find someone to meet. Some girl was there, and I absolutely was the Terminator. I just, like, looked and <laughs> she, like, shows up red, and there's a little, okay, I'm gonna fucking talk to her. And I'm like, hi, I'm Sean. And I just, you know, the, like, the conversation is about an exchange, right? It's about questions it's about yeah. having a reason to talk like hey like how are you is a great question making and then you listen to what they say and once they're done talking right. you respond to the thing that they said and then if they're interested they'll respond to the thing that you said and if they're not interested everything stops happening and you need to go that's a strong signal that there is no longer a conversation i did not yeah do any of that i basically went up and began to talk to myself with her in attendance and i was just yeah. talking to her and i was like what's your name where you go to school what do you study it's really cool here's a story about me and here's another thing yeah. you do that do you do anything like that no that's okay and i'm like asking her questions and she's literally starting to to turn her body all right she's starting <laughs> to turn this this way and the thing is in that moment in that moment i can feel the pain of having yeah. been dumped by someone else oh, and that feeling oh. of agony and worthlessness i'm trying to push it back down by focusing more on this i don't even know if i was mentally in the room i was mentally in this roiling miasma of right. garbage right. going on basically in my esophagus um yeah. and and there there is literally a point where she is fully turned around and i'm speaking to the wow. back of her head and i can just remember <laughs> Like, her hair was long, and it kind of went like this. And I, I could see no skin associated with a head. I couldn't see, like, wow. facial features, obviously, but I couldn't even see ears or a neck. All I saw was hair. And I remember there was a moment where I realized I could just see fabric and hair, and I literally almost blacked out. Like, I had one of those just, like, <laughs> do you? And, I, and, and, like, I I don't even remember what I said there, but I remember being really upset. And I think I was just like, fine, and just walked over there. But remember, it's 8.45 and no one else is there. So now I'm just standing with tunnel vision. Everything's closing in because I'm just, oh, yeah. oh. and that's And that's the sort of thing that if, if social media existed then, I'd have too many tweets in that period of time <laughs> oh lord almighty that's um people send yeah, out 20 only, tweets in only, an hour. Uh, yeah yeah because yeah, that's that's what twitter is is it's a machine for um it's a machine for getting you agitated and then handing you a worldwide microphone yeah that's what yeah. it does yeah and and so you you'd be one of those people that tweets 20 times in an hour because you're having the worst mental day of your life or you're at the dmv yeah. like yeah, those are the two right. situations that occur and so oh my gosh like 
And the thing is that, like, a lot a lot of the stories end with, like, a punchline, but that one ends with me in a corner, just, like, uh, like the, almost wait, becoming wait, wait. a Joker. Um, if I may, if I yeah. may, it ends with you at the punchline. Oh, oh yeah. there it is. There it is. <laughs> hey, I didn't there. even realize there was an opportunity for that. That was... Put wow. the end cap on that. That you you really studied that out. That's that's an incredible <laughs> achievement to have discovered. <laughs> studied it out. I did. Where that I pun can fit. Yeah, the, and, that was a mind virus of a pun. Yeah. yeah, and like and like now now as an adult, if I were in that situation, I would just I would go. Wow, she really didn't want to talk to me, and I would kind of have a amusing story about how I tried to talk to someone who didn't want to talk to me, and like a reasonable human being, I didn't try to just you know acrobat my way into a, a continued conversation that would be the end but man that that's those were those are some of my hothead years but, i so uh i as you were saying that story it came to mind that um i think a big problem might be that a lot of young men think that conversations social opportunities are the same as um playing magic the gathering or perhaps yes. starcraft yeah. Um, and so when someone tries to say something back, you can you can attempt to counterspell what they're saying. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. This is not this is not Hearthstone. This is an interactive game, right? There's you can do stuff on each other's turns. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So, so, all of my cards are instants. Yeah. And, and so I would say that you were you were simply Zerg rushing is what you were doing. That's yeah. No. Absolutely. No. I because the thing is that I know I have more APM conversationally than most people, and I leverage that I'm a mechanics based data. Um, yeah. No. I I think that like as 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 you get older, I think that like if for anyone who's young and single or anything like that, the best advice I can give to you trying to date is to understand and feel really good about what you're going to do when you hear no. Like, oh, if yeah. you start talking to someone and they blow you off, no big deal. Because you know exactly what to do to sit there to be perfectly happy. Because you prepared yeah, for that. that's right. Yeah. And then just do whatever the fuck you want. Like, that's that's really what being yourself is. Is just, yeah, what do I do when there's nothing here? <laughs> like, yeah, and then what, what would you say? Five no's in a row? Socially speaking, five no's in a row is when you, you reevaluate? <laughs> five no's, yes. <laughs> you know, the if, five no's? If the person you're talking to is using the techniques from the drug abuse resistance education program taught in our elementary schools, if they're using the eight ways to say no to you instead of drugs. That's right. Yeah. If, for instance, the broken record, the change the subject, the cold shoulder. Right. Um, any, any sort of, once you find out that you're being de-escalated. Uh, that's a good time to to pull back and uh, de-escalate it. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, hey, how are you? Let's pull this down a notch. Let's <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> that's right. Um, the other thing I'll say is, I don't know if I've told you, uh, my I have a one hundred percent success rate way to get over someone. Oh, oh! Now, now, yeah. given that we're playing Disco Elysium. There is an option mm -hmm. here for you to just take whiffs of ammonia. And then that way, That's whenever a good you think one. about them, you just snort the ammonia, nearly puke, and then you will physiologically want to stop thinking about them. That's right. Now, now mine is, it only work. I guess it only works after, it doesn't work during coronavirus, but what right. you have to do to get over someone is go to the gym and work out, get a good workout in 30 times. In a row? Just 30 times. How, 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 how long it takes you to do that? By the 30th time, you're good. And you can you do know, that at uh, however, whatever rate you want. You I know, mean, that's, don't, don't yeah. injure yourself. Pretty good. That's pretty good, Lee. Yeah, I think so. So I, 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 I suddenly am taken aback by the fact <laughs> that we're playing a game now. Yeah, it just yeah, suddenly yeah, occurred yeah. to me. Real quick. I gotta say, in my personal experience, I think that I substituted the entire series run of Buffy the Vampire Slayer for for going oh, to the gym thirty times, yeah, and it has yeah, much the same effect. But yes, yeah, no, yeah, very no. good. And I, I would note <clears throat> there is merit to both of those because it's yeah. the idea of returning to things that are comforting for you, and also to work do processes by which you can work through emotion. And exercise is a great example yeah. of that. Anytime and, and I exercising is often like it's there's it's it's difficult not to be proud when you go to the gym. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
It's like, oh, I ran Good. five miles like a real fuck up. <laughs> like I've never, <laughs> that's not a sentence anyone's ever said. Um, now I, uh, yeah. The good no, news video is, games. time has not been passing in the game during this entire period. So good. we've, we've just good. learned that we're Harry DeBear or something like this. Um, <laughs> this is good because now we're, we're, we're following our goal of playing this game in real time. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, it takes half an hour to piece one together using the system you've devised. Where do you want to start? Okay, which which piece do we want to look at? I think wanna... the squillet. The squillet holes. <gasps> the couch in an unexpected location is a direct oh, reference. A to... Oh, my God, a minute just passed by. No, 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 no. A minute just passed by. We're screwed. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Some assholes brought their couch inside and hung out on it in the middle of the street, on the roof, on the hillside, by the mo motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young, and they thought they looked cool on it. Oh, they nice. actually looked like it. Like that. <laughs> they looked really cool, like models. Looked really cool, like a rock band. What are we doing? I think number one, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think they actually look like assholes. That's Insufferable the dicks. Young people are the worst. So anyways, you got to complain about the damn sofa or couch or whatever it was. They were leaving it out in all these unexpected, whimsical locations. They took to it where they also took photos of themselves on it and smoked cigarettes and drank coffee because they felt it's intellectual. Good. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up, and you did. So congratulations to you, K-Salt. Did I ever catch those guys? No. You didn't have the time for that. These notes show that you have what it... It's called a real goddamn job. You don't have time to be chasing down these couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? Now, in the game, it actually passed 45 minutes because we were at 12.29 and now at 13.16. Good lord. Yep. That was a lot of thinking. Kim is patiently watching us read. What? You want to do one yep. more and then we'll get on with our real goddamn yeah, job? Let's, let's do the unsolvable case. I want to I see if I we know. can maybe solve it. I'm curious. Yeah. A.K.A. Leslie and Burke, A.K.A. the public indecency drunk and the property damage drunk, is a cursed case. It has been passed from unsuspecting officer to unsuspecting officer for ten years. On January 29th, the unsolvable case made its way to you. Why you accepted it is unclear. Every officer, and indeed most civilians in Jamrock, know it's unsolvable. That's brutal. Leslie will always take his pants off when he's drunk. Burke will always trash everything. It's just what they do. It's in their nature. You cannot change the nature of a man. And you can't lock them away because public indecency and small-scale property damage are not punishable by incarceration. The only way for Leslie to stop flashing his generals to passers is for Burke to stop dismantling signage and rear-view mirrors. Would be for them to stop drinking alcohol, which, in their 40s or 50s, it's hard to tell because of their distorted features, is a medical improbability on par with you ceasing to produce the expression. You keep them off the streets. You would think that, but you're wrong. Where's the fun in exposing your genitals or breaking stuff in your own home? No, Leslie and Burke are on the corner of Main Street in Perdition, because that's where the action is. Can you keep yourself? Can you keep yourself <laughs> off the streets? Amazing. Proceed. Threatening fines, dragging them to the station, locking them up in the hell holes they live in, locking them up in the station, hypnotherapy, even trying to get a local gang of Zemliakis? 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 To take them out. Zemliakis give them ethanol, so Burke and Leslie would expose and rampage even harder. You tried it all, <laughs> and still the complaints wouldn't stop as they hadn't stopped for 10 years. It's plain to see from the files that you, Satellite Officer JV, and Special Consultant TH had more important cases to attend to. You uncover cross-references to several ongoing investigations, each brought to a standstill every time you drive down Main Street, because there they are, on the corner of perdition. And what is Leslie doing? <laughs> Leslie is... Oh, doing Leslie is doing uh, public uh, indecency. Yeah. Oh. Public indecency. Good, you're learning. If the files are to be trusted, that's all there is to it. That and Burke breaking things. And the fact that they're both drunk. But then again, so are you. The case becomes considerably <laughs> less comic one day when Burke takes a swing at your ledger. He must oh, have damn. confused it with the property he likes to damage. But the joke's on him. You're drunk out of your mind on potent Pilsner. You slam the hardened plastic oh. board in his face, then you proceed to beat him unconscious with it. Shit. In the process, Jesus. the ledger sustains damage. The compartment within, reserved for permeable documents, is jammed shut. You stop your assault on the now unconscious Burke to open it, but are unable to do so. The officer 
began to cry, reports Leslie, who at this point is tending to Burke. He came at us, and at us! I think he was going to try to kill Burko! While trying to kill Burko, you slowly come around. The permeable's compartment is open. You've smashed it open on poor Burko's kneecaps. The good news is Burke can't walk anymore. Can't get out of his Jesus apartment, Christ. an invalid. With Burke to tend to, Leslie cuts oh, back on the indecent shit. exposure. Maybe he flashes his genitals to Burke, who knows? But both drunks are off the street. The complaints stop, the unsolvable case is solved. Which is also why wow. the officer responsible narrowly escapes a disciplinary hearing. The end. Do you want to read another one? No, oh, not right now. Shit, no. Wow, that's too much. All right, um, smell the ledger. Good. Okay, so I have this ledger... And I want now Makes to. Look official. I want to go to this thing and I want to hold our ledger yeah. in front of the lights. See that? Inside. Shit. See a set of levers. Kim, how do I turn on the headlights? He turns on the preheater on, takes out his keys and says, All right, ready? I turn, you press start, it's next to the preheater. He's downplaying his excitement. The lieutenant is more than happy to show off his <laughs> precious carriage. <laughs> Dashboard lights up with orange glow rounds. Permanent gauges jump in the engine of Corpus Kinema. Comes to life. Oh, yeah. The lights unfold with a little cool. click, casting electrical light to the ground before the vehicle. And there you go. I'll turn them off from the remote when you're done. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Ah, dynamic lighting. Yes. So, it's under tools, I guess. Wait, is it, do I just click on this? Interact now. Um, uh, is the the uh, the inspect the clip? Uh, where? Two. Oh, two. An aluminum block runs with the board. Mm. Regular. Oh wait. What? Okay, okay, how okay. do I... I feel like we need to use object uh, on object. Yeah, try use... Yeah, use Brink with down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Brink with a down, down. The most ah, important there thing is... Ah. It popped up right around my mind. As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid in the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation cool. washes over you. There she is, Revachal West. There's a note of pride in the lieutenant's voice. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. Look at the wow. shimmering street grid. Look at the perforations. That's okay. weird that it's um, like I guess it's meant to be read by humans, not by. Yeah, the, yeah. The no, it sure seems like it. Look at the shimmering street grid. There are many. Okay. Of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. Tally up the different rows. The first row is 18 dots. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> good. All uh, right, all right. Not bad for what? You don't even know what it means. What about the next one? The next is the longest. It runs all the way around the border and then some. Count them individually. There are so many it's hard to count. More than 150 at least, maybe even 200. What about the last row? The last row has three perforations. Three? That's it? That's it. I'm going to look at the shimmering street grid. Yeah, do that The first. rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachal are all recognizable. They shimmer in the Kanima's headlights. Wait, look around you. A rat brazenly darts Ooh. past you and disappears amongst the stopped lorries in the distance. A child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. He smells the air and says, Where are we on this? Let me see. He takes the ledger for a moment and inspects it. Right here, he says. His finger near the top of the map on a segment of coast jutting out into the great ocean. Mm. All right. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I've seen worse. I'm sure. I'm. I'm positive. I'm positive. I've seen worse. That's a good one. Oh yeah, Coal City, Le Royaume, or Royaume, Le Royaume, the burnt out quarter. Hey Kim, what do all these holes mean? Those are perforations, dude. <clears throat> The asterisks in this game remind me so much of AOL Instant Messenger and MIRC days. Oh, yeah? Like when asterisks yes. would italicize stuff, but yep. there were lots of programs that did not italicize with asterisks, so you just did it anyways. Yep. And now the underscore is used. Is it? Well, wait, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Asterisks is better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Asterisk, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 
I think that what I've done is a long sequence of lies that I've weaved into a story that itself is a bigger lie. Uh, I mean, the disinformation like campaign. Astrocy is boldened. 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 Rhetoric being success. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years? Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? What? Volunteered? Uh. uh. Hmm. <laughs> um. I feel like a one round of apologizing <laughs> all the time. Number five. Yeah, number five is really good. All right, I'm uh, doing five. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Maybe you were a diplomat? Or in PR? <laughs> Doesn't matter, I suppose. Let's move on, shall we? The next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is the number of cases closed. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see. Wow, more than 200. Jesus, who are we? Is that a lot? It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. Wow. So you're saying I used to be a super cop? <laughs> so, what if this isn't our ledger? I mean, we don't know that, I guess. It does seem awfully familiar. Our, and, and the only concrete piece of evidence I have for that is that when we started writing our current case up, our handwriting looked a lot like the handwriting on the other cases. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm, I'm going to say... So you're saying I used to be super cop? Like, we're foaming at the mouth with pride. Call it what you want. You are a valuable member of your precinct. Now, let's look at the last row. Right. Because you're confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations. Wow. Left. Wow. That's not too okay. many. Yeah. So I'm a killer. <laughs> number three is good. It's not too many. I like number one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so I'm a killer. I'll do any of them. They're all good. We're not seeing an officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the Jamrock Quarter. It's rather tame. I mean that in a good way. So what's it feel like to kill a man, Mr. McCoy? A young woman asks the man across the desk from her. Honestly, babe, says John McCoy, crossing his ankles over said desk. I don't feel anything anymore. It's just like brushing my teeth. I do it once or twice a week and don't really think about it. There's no trace of guilt in his voice. Jesus. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. It's obvious the lieutenant doesn't think very highly of these officers. Ah, oh. oh, we used our empathy hat. Ah, oh, we, we used parts of our mind and heart. Yeah. <laughs> but it the seems though you connection. are. At least we're one of the good ones. We have that to be thankful for. Um, That's a heck of a way to tell you're a good person. Yeah. It is. It is indeed. Yeah. It's only just... killed three people. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. Have, have you ever killed anyone, Kim? I feel like getting inappropriately <sighs> personal. Yeah. Have let's you, try. We we. It's not that we crossed the boundary. It's that we didn't even understand that there was one because we had curiosity. Yeah. Don't yes. turn your body all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle the strain? Everyone has their own method of coping, some more effective or self-destructive than others. He gives you a meaningful look. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Ooh. Hobbies are lame! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not three. Yeah. yeah I'd say one. Yeah, I yeah, like I'd one. Like... Yeah, one's good. This is the first time I've actually pressed the number on the keyboard, and it actually works correctly. Oh! Oh, uh, this uh, Yeah, one again. Yeah. Why not garden? I've already got gloves. He points to your yellow gardening. Yeah. Nice. Amazing. Well, let me see if space bar continues. It does. You don't so even no, need to play this game. I gotta say this though, Sean. When you use the mouse, it's easier to tell what you're clicking on. Mm. That is a point. Okay. Durr. Okay. I. I want to apologize to both of you for my space bar and button pressing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, sometimes the fact that I come from this professional gamer background, it's just so hard for other people. I know, yeah. I know. And I want to I wanna <clears throat> ease, ease that away and return back. Yeah, can you just, you know, it's like how Bruce Lee would punch so fast that 
the camera couldn't see it, so he had to slow down for his movies. Yeah, no, I, like and I, we definitely don't have frame rate fast enough for you to see my yeah. real mouse stuff in action. I mean, I don't have 1440p, 1040p hertz. <laughs> I knew I was messing up midway through, and I just decided to tumble to the bottom of the mountain. You need that 144 by 144 is what you need. You need that oh, 4K yeah. by 144k. Oh, that is 8K. that is so traditional adventure game resolution where it's just like, do you want do you want 196 by 144 or do you want 320 mm -hmm. by 240? And I'd be like, ooh, 320 by 240. That's a lot of pixels. Mm -hmm. So many <laughs> pixels. What was the by 768 one? The, what's the standard def? 1024 by 768. 1024 by 768. Whoa, a reason warder works. No, that's a that's a traditional uh, monitor size, right? A standard def was th tiny. Six forty by four eighty. Six forty by four eighty. Yeah, yep. I mean, like, like it, it, it. I actually found it sort of weird. Like, I didn't get it when I was in uh, like college and grad school when HD and HD video was being plugged, and it's like it's like twelve eighty by seven twenty, and I'm like, wow. You, <laughs> yeah. you have achieved like what my monitor was doing at the start of high school right but, like, right. but it's crazy to think that like televisions used to be just like you know that big yeah yep now just, all i have is a bunch of monitors or, or pretty big and very blurry yeah yeah but it was those beautiful beautiful cathode rays mm, those cathode rays um Oops. i saw an article that oh, told me don't forget there's an article that that told me how to uh, get into cathode ray tube gaming uh, for cheap. How to get into that world, and I was like, I know more oh. than you. I was like, <laughs> Sir, you're talking to a cathode. <laughs> so right now we we have we have gotten our shit together with a volumetric shit yeah. compressor. We have lonesome long way home. Which, wow, by given how slowly we meander through this game, we're going to be done with this in no time. This is retracing yep. our memory about where we live. And then there's White Morning, which was the new memory that we can put in our back burner of the brain to just stew upon. Which is Whoa. when we reflected upon this woman or this man or this lost love, something like that. Can you read that out there? It says, you, you see, see yourself, yourself oh, I can read from it. above. You see oh, yourself please. From above. please. You're passed out on the blue tiles of the hostel room floor. Even from this distance, you can see your eyelids flutter. At the mention of what? A great white object letting out its sweet smell like a lily of the valley. The little man's forgotten its name, but he still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves. The feeling animates him. He instinctively reaches out for the feeling's best friend, a bottle of Commodore Red. He puts on his disco clothes and gets smaller and smaller. Ooh. I don't get it. I don't get it even a little bit. No, you can't. You can't click on solution, right? Solution. Solution is no, not interactable. Is the but it, but on the volumetric chip processor, it is. What yeah. was that? Okay. Yeah. What's the solution there? Yeah, is the our solution. scientific news rubbish yeah. us today? We got our shit together. Police yeah, officers, yeah. shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law yeah. officials. And I didn't see this. At all endurance, white checks unlocked. Learning cap for endurance raised to four. That's right. Nice. So, if, yeah. so these are sort of just like individual skills that I can sort of like wander around with. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you can dismiss them and and put new ones in there, but I think you lose them permanently if you dismiss them. I've definitely had those in real life too, where I've had like a problem that was a bummer for me in my head, and then like I would come up with like a, I would I would hone the right aphorism that would actually like solve it, which is mm -hmm. like amazing. I should start giving myself bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we uh, we leveled up, so we need to apply a skill point to one of these things, and I have no I have no care about what we level up. Uh Motorix? I'm a... Ooh. I was thinking okay, seven. Okay. 
Savoir faire is... We're at negative one due to some modifiers. Sneak under their noses. Stun with immense panache. Or we could do Inland Empire double down on that. I mean, let's I, all in. I kind of I kind of want to all in on Inland Empire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do that. That's really been going along with uh, and supporting our method of play. We found it. We like it. We like what we found. Um, wait, is uh, is getting close to the body an endurance check? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, does that mean that our sh shit is together and now we might want to try that? All right, thanks. Yeah, that's Hope what you I'm found, found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Uh, one of our quests was to figure out who put the clothes in the trash. But you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. <laughs> that is pretty amazing, actually. All right. oh, who else has keys? That's yeah. a good, I think a very police officer thing to, to ask. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here uh, last and when. It, elusive? Elusive. Elusive. Yes, I think typo. we need to write in. We need to write in about yeah. this one. Hold on, hold on, dear hold on. sirs. I'm gonna look up elusive. I thought that your game was good. <laughs> when suddenly, <But> it, <laughs> suddenly, it's it's a word. It, it is, is a, a word, word, but it means like like illusory. illusory. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, illusory. yeah. Of or relating to it, I illusions. think. I don't think that's what Kim uh, Kitsugari is saying. I think I think I think it is right. It, okay, it, all it, right. Oh, because I thought that it, it's the fact that there's like there's different people here and there every week. This will have to be one of those little threads that's all or like see. Well, I don't be able to track down who was sent here and last. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe it is elusive. I think they're elusive. I think the yeah, elusive and elusive oh, seem like they they have probably a lot of shared coverage. Sean, yeah, you remember when you were talking about how, like, sometimes you need to be able to see something that's wrong and not just, like, say, oh, that's wrong? Yeah, and, like, rip some heads off? I wish you had told me that before I just did. Did what? I feel like, well, I interrupted our whole game flow. I mean, wait a minute. Like, wait. This, you, this you, how dare you? Typo. Never, ever do anything that would ever run the risk in a mostly walking of derailing us from playing the game. That's not what this show is about. I am no, so no, pissed. Not. Don't ever, 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 ever derail the show. I can't believe you would do that. Honestly, I checked. Uh, here, well, let's ask chat. Hold on. Yeah. Dear chat, is this content? <laughs> is this content like is this, like is this content what <laughs> everything is content, content is everything is content that's really good okay. you know um, you know i i if any of you are ever in a um class that involves any creativity yeah. If you ever have a sentence that is everything is, and then you say a word, you have made a huge mistake. <laughs> You've made yeah. a big error. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm seeing everything is content. Now, because yeah. it's funny, it's good. But if you were actually trying to sit me down and go, no, 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 let me talk to you about our content strategy. If you think about it. Ooh. Everything's content, and I immediately like, oh fuck, <laughs> oh shit, that's a great idea. Let's put everything on your channel then. That's amazing. That's put a song. The song literally has no structure. It's just recording of all audio at the. It's everything. Simultaneous audio. Yeah. Simultaneous it's audio. Better than most white audio because we maxed it out. You could just play white noise. That's that's all. That's an even audio signal on all. Uh, yeah. Frequencies, right? Yeah. Wait, there if that's is. the case, why does it have texture? Yeah, I don't know that that's what white noise is. It would just be a tone. I was just saying yes yeah. to whatever that where that sentence was going. So I was you're talking about yes black noise. 
Is that true? You're talking about what dark is noise. Sound, what is the sound of, 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 of basically like a sound on all frequencies? It's the sound of sound. I'm talking about like, what if you, you know, you play a tone and then you play another tone and another tone. And then you, so you play a chord. It's basically, you play the chord that includes all notes. Yeah. Is that, that the chord? chord. Is that yeah yeah the the chord, chord behind the chord? Yeah, what is that? What is what is the super chord? What is this sort of meta omega chord that? I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait. Like... I know what to tell you. I know what to tell you, Sean. Study it out. <laughs> yeah, I it's called five feet. <laughs> I my my assumption is that whatever that sound is, it it causes a sinus headache. I think that's what it yeah. is. I think it it's, causes a sinus headache and it causes you to poo your pants. It's the brown. It's the brown. It includes the brown noise. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. There it is. That's nice. You forget you've ever heard it. Is another one. Brown really noise weird. plus white noise is like an orange noise. Is that it? It's just. It's a lighter oh, brown it's noise. Is what it is. Noise. It's a lighter. It's sort of a yeah muddy. Oh, noise. okay. I can tell you a funny micro story here. Okay. I learned that I learned that when you go to the bathroom, because like in our house here, the bathroom's sort of close to like the kitchen and stuff. Yeah. So, and there's no like mechanical fan in it, so it is your sounds can be heard. So what I did, I realized you can do this. I took out my phone, opened the white noise app, and just fucking started playing my own white noise. Like. You can do that. So, so, <laughs> so people sound. just heard white noise punctuated by <laughs> strain and small <laughs> splashes in the toilet. But, but, mute, but muted. Yeah, yeah. like um, it, it mutes. But yeah, the in, best part is instead of silence, silence, using... silence, silence, blue, it was <laughs> blue. Yeah. And, and, and not only that, not only that, I slowly, I slowly, I start from, I start from silence and slowly wrap it up. Oh, that's so good. Like, Until it sounds like there's a like, jet engine in the bathroom. Yeah. But it's like boiling a frog. Like nobody realizes. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Until all, of a sudden, until all of a sudden there's this, it cuts out and then it's, there's just the deafening silence and like a uh, slight ringing in everyone's ears. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's it's nine oh four. I'm gonna see if I can get to the end of one dialogue tree and make any progress. It turns out, thank you, anyways. Oh God. So one of your staff would put him there. Sylvia, the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with a crime scene. Maybe you were sleepwalking. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Okay, let's talk about something else. Oh, we walked uh, into that one. This um. Is, by the way. I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely, I have a what? question. You wait and see, cafeteria manager. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. In the question. First, we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your body is ready, sire. <laughs> sire. Expressively good. Um, what? I wonder what we might have seen here. He rolls his eyes. What thing? I saw a sign. It's the mess halls reserved for the union. Yes, not the whole damn union. Thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit, but they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Let's find out. Mm, that was pointed. In front of this loud faction is occupied in booth. Loudness means talkative. We need info. How do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. He walks towards the booth. Men are hungry, even striking men. If not today, they'll be here tomorrow. God, there sounds like are a these... <laughs> Hashtag DS9. Saying, they'll come here after you've slept. Just make it clear you got that. Something else I want to ask about. <laughs> what? Goodbye. I saw another thing at the whirling. Another thing? Great. Okay. So we have some tasks. We have all sorts of things. And I feel like sure. we have... Oh man, this was a lot of fun this day. Oh wait, what's back here? Hello. Oh, there's a whole kitchen back here. I'm gonna try to talk oh. to her. Gracie Quebec. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, he nods towards the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Gracie and Quebec. 
Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him <laughs> Gorsi Cooper. Please, it's not funny. <laughs> ah, Mr. Gorsi, I have some questions to ask you. <laughs> I love that this game gives us exquisite permission to be a complete dumbass. It's so good. Got time for a few questions. The man puts his cup down and replies something. His left hand drawing arcs in the air. You've got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes. All right. Okay. All right. What about that sink? There's Ooh. something in the sink. Oh, I'm dropping my pencils. The dishes are drying. The smell of chemicals and pine trees. I'm going in the back. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. What's a dimple lock? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I know what a dimple is. I know what a lock is. So I assume that when someone smiles, you jam a key in their cheek and open them up. Yeah, that's Ooh, how it works. You mean for the drawn to the color, blue is for mystery. Touch the door. Touch the door. The cobalt oh, yeah. blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel is... The stainless steel is door flush with its oh, frame shit. on every side. Try to push on the door. Return, return the it. Smash. Return the game for a refund. <laughs> return. <laughs> I wonder where this door leads. You do? Lieutenant regards you with patient skepticism. It's a door to the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Dude, the back of the kitchen goes to the outside. Out, out, back goes to the I am, back. I am drawn to its cobalt, it's cobalt blue. blue. Absolutely. It is quite pretty, I suppose. We could look into it as a side investigation. Yes. You have a mini a side, side investigation. investigation. Garrett is a person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Leave. Okay, Garrett, I'm going to ask about this door and then we'll close yes, the show. Please, 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 yeah. please, please. <laughs> Harmonic one of his lockpicking lawyer with today's simple dimple lock. Hello, this is <laughs> lockpicking <laughs> lawyer. And today we have a simple dimple lock. I can't handle the way that he says this is lock picking lawyer it's just this <laughs> random I, like it yeah. sounds like he is so fed up with having to say his own name like ah oh, my name is sean plot i'll be your host today <laughs> like i don't talk like that's a it's a weird uptick on the words there's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen Oh, yes, that door. Sure, there's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door, he shrugs. Do you know what's behind it? Do you have... No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there, and I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just a fleet <laughs> warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He runs his finger across the counter to check for dirt. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know yeah. what's going on. Oh, yeah. Fine, okay, a little, he shrugs. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred <laughs> times over, though. After the animals, and I haven't found the key, so good luck with that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sweet. I love it. <clears throat> I love that fucking I'm gonna... cobalt blue door. Turbo. You make great progress. Okay, great. You make great pee. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly... <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I intended to type. Damn. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. I don't know why it didn't let me type anymore, but uh, we do. We make great pee together. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. When we get together, we're like the Ghostbusters. Uh, well, that I'm is... I'm Ghostbuster. Yeah. That's, 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 this was a lot of fun. I don't know if we made very much progress in the game. I think that according to the tracker, we're... 1.3% done or something like that Part with the game. Yeah, so that sounds about right. I, I, like, I really genuinely think that maybe we should think about what happens uh, if one of us dies of natural causes before we finish this game. <laughs> um, like I think we get uh, a replacement, right? We get the next next person. I, I feel wonder. like we could redo this this setup with just two windows. If that would work. Oh, I actually have a, I have a good idea about... How, okay, here we go. This is... Let me... Are you going to... What do you... I, I shudder to think what you're about to do. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. Oh. All right, now... We Lee, you're the one who died in this scenario. Yeah. Yeah, like... So, Lee, just, just do your best dead. Um, And now, I need to capture your name. So, let's... 
Wait, wait a minute. Wait, because it says, wow. see, it says, it says Lee Greener over there, and that's not, that's not correct. So here's no, that's not right. But, but, but Sean, that's, uh, I feel like that's liable. Liable. Let's go to my what, desktop. Okay, but like, what would happen if, for example, then you died and Sean Bloom was the only one left? I'll, I'll do that one as well. Let me, let me get the. <laughs> I need to see this. Yeah. Here we I go. mean, as so long I need, as long I need you set it up four. early enough. Let yeah. me let me show you some of the technology we have here at Day Nine TV. So see Are see that name Sean yourself? Blue. Well, what I've done is I've taken a second image of our of our uh, you know mostly walking names. All right, you see that. Put it in a large metal frame. I'm trying to put it. In... <laughs> okay, so let's. This is good. So let's let's uncrop that left side a little bit. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, this is this is looking like it. This is, All right. This is very slowly working. So oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Sean Bloomer. I mean that's Yeah, you know. That's about right. Yeah. That's really good. I can't believe I was able to do that that fast. I mean that's it doesn't even I mean I, I have one request actually. Uh yeah. Can oh shit! My... Oh, no, you <laughs> Could you up. possibly just? I feel a little ignored here. Could you put my face just uh, over the little guy down the bottom? Oh, absolutely! You <laughs> got so it. Kinda... You got it, Lee. Just don't don't Still move have a little bit much. Of yeah, that's. Hold on. Let me let me yeah. get back this. You get a little bit of presence. This is no, really, that's good. Really good. You're gonna have a coffin cam. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna. That's so Lars's... creepy. That's so creepy, and I love it. Okay, I'm putting that in my. Well, no, because I. All joking aside, I do want to be cremated someday. Any other possibility seems so weird. There you oh. go. Yeah. I can't even tell which one was originally supposed to be me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, actually, this you know what? I, yeah. No, that was. I really. This is really. This is working. Oh, now, like now, it. here's, oh, yeah. here, here's the best part. Um, here's the best part. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Sean Pla. And I'm Sean Bloom. And I'm, I'm Sean Bloom. And I'm Lee <laughs> Grainer. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Actually, wait. No, no, no. I think that there's there's some other fun that we can have here. Let's, <laughs> let's actually... Oh, shit. I, can't, I gotta stop moving that one. Hold on. I gotta... That's not the scene element that I want to move. Okay, so if I... Uh, can can you can you get... No, no. Move, move your head back into the middle of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll okay. get aligned. Hold and now... Um, hold on. Yeah, yeah, just just in the stand, middle of this. Okay, yeah. Stand very, very still. Oh shit. Standing okay, this stock is, still. This is really good. Now. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're yeah, you you're, you're, you yeah. are absolutely picking up on what I'm putting down. Let me, yep, let me just That's very good. Yeah, the, these these are types of twitches that we <clears throat> Now, here's here's where it gets fun is even though Lee is gone, we can absolutely have Lee's uh, voice. Hi. hi. <laughs> this, yeah. is really, this, is, this is really excellent. Um, my God, we can we can actually make Sean, the yeah. I'm I'm the real Sean. Sh shoot the other Sean. <laughs> this is so good. Now here's where we can have some real fun. Let me actually take uh, Lee's mouth, and what we're gonna do uh -huh. is we're going uh -huh. to. Let's just rotate it and rotate it. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't rotate it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I thought now, you were gonna so, go vertical with that, and that was gonna be no. something else. Let's 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 see if you can make Sean Bloom smile a big smile, Lee. Let's see if you can. <laughs> there you go. Uh, like really, like ah, uh, like the devastation. Uh oh. It's it doesn't look. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you gotta stop. It's smiling. really hard to stay in the frame. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so now, now you can give him a big smile. There you go. Here, hop in there. Yeah, that's really good. This is really hey, good. Shit, shit, shit. All right, let, hey, me, hey. let me turn that's too big now. this off. Let me turn this. I mean, oh, shit, I always turn on the it wrong one. Do you think, oh. I mean, I'm assuming we're solidly into after show territory here. Do you think it's possible to construct a single mostly walker with our various parts combined? On the Let's face? do that right now. That's that's a great point. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I would love I would love some help. First of all, who whose head will be the base? Who who should be the base head? 
I, you awesome. know, I would say, I'd say you can do that. I okay, think you're the, I'll, I'll be the, the one running the tech, so. Yeah, yeah, let me, okay, so let me not destroy any of the layout that I'm going to use for the next show. Let's see here, video. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, let's add my camera. There we go. There, there I am. So let's, let's go ahead and make me yeah. real big. That's good. That's, this is a lot of me. But it's still yeah. not enough of me. That's the problem. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this is going to have to be, this is going to have to be uh, the base. All right, so let's get this coming up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop the top we're gonna crop the bottom till it's just there we go so we have yeah i think i should include a little bit of neck but then we're also gonna get the sure. left yeah. Yeah, and yeah. right um in there now yeah. i'm gonna try to get it to be kind of 16 by 9 ish because we're gonna have yeah. this take up the whole frame so we can print it on t-shirts and shit yeah absolutely so there we go that's that's not 16 well it's good enough. It, it'll do. It'll yeah, it's be good fine. Enough. It's okay, good enough. so so who's who's gonna be the mouth? Who's who wants to be our I, mouth today? Uh, I already got to be the mouth. Maybe Sean. Oh, I could be. Oh, that's a great sure. point. Let's let's add. Let's uh. Okay, Sean Bloom. Don't fucking move. That's good. Mm. All right. This is. <laughs> all right. So and uh. That's let's... a bit large. Yeah. Technically, his. Yeah, so this this is good. What's going on here? Oh, oh, his mouth is. <laughs> oh, wait, I think you could go a little smaller. Right. No, um, uh, Lee, Lee, can you Lee, can you lean back? Can you lean back and uh, open your eyes real big because you you're you're the eyes now. Hi. Uh... All right. This is. All right. Okay, um, and no, this, this, I, you know what, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Here's, here's what's wrong. What's wrong. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong? I figured out the one wrong. thing that's wrong. I'm, I'm capturing both your eyes together. So go yeah, ahead and get, is, get, get I'm going to use your left eye as my right eye. There we go. <laughs> this is, this is getting better by the minute. All right, let's get your right eye, Lee, now to be the left eye. Here we go. Oh. And um, you know what? I I I really want some of some of this hair in here. This is good. This is really nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'll have the nose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, what? let me let me actually take. Oh, this is this is exactly the way in the show. Okay. Um, Sean, talk to us about stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is, I'm, this is an entirely normal day for me mm -hmm. having, having just a normal day. So, uh, go ahead and, and... <laughs> close us out. Close us out. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, thank you everybody. This has been mostly walking. Uh, what's the outro? I don't remember the outro. You did a Bye. good job. You did a good job.